hey there libra welcome back i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for anybody with libra placements in their charts make sure you all flip and switch the roles take what resonates libra doesn't fit for your situation <clears throat> thank you guys so much for your love your support your donations and booking your personals with me sending you guys a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey okay um so i'm going to be posting on my community tab pretty soon if you know or when i stop doing my personal readings um i'm not doing them anymore i don't i don't think i'm leaning more towards it because my <clears throat> journey isn't leading me to do that it's leading me to do another thing <laughs> so um you know hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me but um for the ones of you that have booked already though i will be getting your readings out to you just give me a little bit of time okay and be patient with me um but yeah anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box and please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms okay so let's see spirit guides angels ancestors ascended masters gods and goddesses please retire any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm libra and their loved ones me and my loved ones return it back to the sender block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through clear concise and precise messages from our libra collective and protect me as i channel the messages here for libra so let's see <laughs> home in reverse safe and family mm, let's see what else all that glitters in reverse illusion superficial child what else trial and error experimenting with your life and experience in a job or situation <laughs> Excuse me, willingness to try new things, exploring all possibilities. <laughs> I'm looking at this this little boy on here mixing some shit together. Some sort of magic here went wrong. Okay, automatically is what I'm getting, Libra. With the all that glitters in reverse, illusion is superficial. Something here backfired like horribly on somebody ass. Someone is getting exposed. This could be somebody in your family, somebody you had children with. Okay, this person here, they could you could have moved on from this person. This person could have a family and they ass getting ready to be homeless somebody getting ready to be homeless they losing family members okay i don't know somebody here could be being haunted in their home with safe and reverse like somebody feels unsafe or they have a lot of debt to pay off from a lot of people so people could be after somebody oh child <laughs> there could be this illusion somebody here tried to create a loot an illusion over you or something like that it didn't fucking work and i feel like it backfired Okay, but some sort of illusion about a family member could have been broken here or uh, about a, a, a couple, a home, uh, somebody in your community or something like that. Ooh-wee. Something here blew up, child. Somebody tried to mix something together and cook up some shit. It, bitch, it backfired on that ass. <laughs> okay, they thought, well, shit, I can do this on my own. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, let's see what else. <laughs> Somebody here could be a scientist. Okay. Yeah, rebirth, recover and restore. And they're they not going to be able to recover. Ooh, we could be dealing with a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is hot mess. Disorderly habits, untidy mind, chaotic, messy situation, feeling miserable and unhappy, being irresponsible. Look at her. She looks like she's going through it, ain't she? She like, if you say one word to me, I'm going to kill you, bitch. <laughs> okay, ma'am. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Ooh -wee. Okay, let's see what's going on, Libra. <laughs> what's going on? The wheel of karma for what? Betraying you? Mm. Sounds like a sad day on earth for you, bitches. Should have did what you did. Let's see, though. This could be just because of the simple fact that somebody don't want to go through this rebirth. They don't want to change. They refuse to change. Like... They just don't want to let a situation go. Don't want to let their old ways go. It's like, oh, well, that's what happens when you don't listen to what spirit is trying to tell your stupid ass to do. You have the tower. Three of swords. Mm. What's 
home in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody let their addictions get the best of them. Somebody here got addictions and somebody just miserable. This too, Nine of Cups in reverse is cockiness, is arrogance. Mm. Somebody could overindulge. Somebody, somebody overindulges in something. Somebody's miserable. They sad as hell. This is like a shattered wish or a dream. Mm. What else for home in reverse with the nine of cups in reverse? Mm. Page of wands flipped out in reverse. Yeah, somebody, somebody got problems here. Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody's inner child is like really bruised. Ooh. Nine of Cups in reverse with the Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody here could have recently like miscarried a child. Sorry to hear that. Okay, if it's you, you know, if it's really anybody, I don't wish that on my enemies either. You know, you don't wish bad on them. But, um,. <clears throat> So yeah, some, something about someone's addictions is coming out. Page of Wands in reverse too. Somebody gets loud or belligerent when they don't get their way. Very spoiled energy. But this is definitely like somebody's inner child. This could be a lot of like fear too. Somebody here lacking confidence. They have low self-esteem. Somebody definitely getting some sort of bad news. There's no drive or no passion for life here. It's just like something is a mess. This could be, this could be, I'm really getting heavy miscarriage energy. You know, not to scare nobody now that's pregnant. Okay, I'm just saying, it feels like this could have already happened or something. Some of y'all, this is what I'm saying, right? Because I keep getting this. Your spirit guy here is protecting you and your spirit baby. For some of you, there's a spirit baby coming through. Whatever these people try to do now, whoever the fuck this is, it, it comes crashing down. Like it comes to a complete halt. Okay, some sort of illusion is broken, child. <laughs> somebody here could have tried to defame you all because they were trying to do something out of spite some of y'all are getting ready to announce that you're having a baby and you're getting married this could be an, engage, an, uh, 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 an engagement a wedding you could be attending a wedding or you could be getting married yourself page of cups ten of pentacles i feel like um this could be too like creative expression or new creative opportunity here with the Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Something that you're discovering about yourself that could lead to um, a lot of wealth and prosperity with the, with the Ten of Pentacles right here. But this could definitely be a proposal, an offer. Um, maybe you're dating somebody here and it's going to lead to marriage, okay? But this could definitely be the birth of a child. So congrats or some of y'all finding out you're pregnant and congrats. But um, definitely, uh, what's, the nine of, what's the Nine of Cups in reverse? Yeah, this King of Wands. What's this Nine of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands? Leo energy. Five of Cups. Hmm. <clears throat> So somebody is definitely sad. There was some sort of loss here. Somebody could be grieving something, mourning a family member. Okay. Uh, or just more than the fact that they can, they asking ready to be out on the street. This is some real bad karma for somebody. Yeah, for trying to be a bully. Or trying to abuse somebody or whatever the fuck. It could be a Virgo, an Aquarius. Or something. Who this King of Wands right here? The King of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody here is arrogant as fuck. And they're very superficial. King of Wands, King of Pentacles to me. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. They got it in their chart somewhere. Okay. So. In order for this person to obtain success. And it, it, it's like they abuse their power. They got too cocky. This person is really fucking arrogant. Okay. And this is why they asking ready to have the worst kind of karma. I'm telling you. <laughs> it feel bad. 
it feel like it's getting ready to get bad for somebody. So I was I was saying though, this person, um, they have they definitely have addictions. It's something this could be like a sex addiction. For some of you, somebody here is bisexual. There's there's like two men that are sleeping together. They're they're bisexual or they're gay. They're on the down low. Okay, possibly. Somebody could have some sort of like eating disorder. Either someone is gaining a lot of weight or they're really, really getting small. Okay, it's a lot going on. Or whoever they with, because. It's something that this person does energetically. Okay, yeah. The Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the Devil, the the hangman somebody here this is this, this is giving me honestly like a sacrifice okay um let me just keep going real quick what's the five of cups yeah the four of wands so this king of pentacles four of wands this could be um <clears throat> you and your person getting together here is this is like somebody's worst nightmare you getting with a king of pentacles somebody that's loyal that cares about you that's going to be a provider a protector okay somebody here feels like they lost their family because this could be like um just you and your ex or ex-husband or ex-wife or whatever y'all got kids together and this person be trying to get you back you're, you're not going back <laughs> okay you could actually be in a twin flame union or you're just in a new contract here whatever some of you guys are getting new properties, new homes. It's like spirit is literally taking away somebody else's, what they thought was theirs and giving it back to you because I feel like somebody has been doing something wicked here. And um, <clears throat> somebody here definitely lost somebody in their community or a family member or something like that. Somebody is grieving or crying or they're like depressed, angry, sad. Because I feel like you could have overcame something, you achieved something, you're celebrating, you are getting married, you are moving forward. There's stability, there's security. Like, I don't know. Somebody here tripping though. <laughs> they tripping. Yeah, seven of swords. So somebody's a fucking thief. Yeah, they've been trying to cause illusions. I feel like, you know, if you had a lot of miscarriages by this person... Let me just keep going. Someone can have an Aries Venus. What's this page of wands in reverse? The strength card. What's the page of wands in reverse with the strength card? Strong Leo. Go watch Leo's reading, man. <laughs> the Emperor. Who the fuck? There's all these fucking masculines. Yeah, I feel like this is um representing one masculine, to be honest. This is representing one masculine that's like shape-shifting. They want some sort of like, um. they want to look a certain way to a community or a family. And I feel like it's coming out. The illusion is over. Somebody's addictions are taking over. Their arrogance. I, I don't know. Something about somebody's pride, their ego, and their wanting, their, their, um, them being so pressed to want to be in control. Like somebody here looks one way to people, but they, that's not what it is. Something about what you're doing in your life, Libra, has this person going crazy. <laughs> like, I'm serious. And they're shape-shifting. It's like, uh, child, this could be like a father figure or some shit. <clears throat> I feel like you overcame some sort of challenge with the strength card. You have the inner confidence to like walk away. You you could be in this emperor energy, even if you're a woman. It's like you're more of an emperor than this person could ever be. Like somebody here is lashing out. This is what it feels like. I'm telling you. Something gonna make this person spiral. This is like their worst nightmare. Who this King of Pentacles up here? For some of you, if you announce a child that you're having a child, look at the emperor showing child. Confirmation, I'm telling you. It's something too about your, your status, your success. Somebody here wanted some sort of status or success. Okay. And it's like they got the exact opposite. 
they they wanted to defame you possibly to make themselves look better and it didn't work what's the king of pentacles <laughs> yeah two of swords what's the king of pentacles two of swords Libra moon the king of swords child why the fuck is all these damn masculines coming out here this could be like a group of men or this could be this person this could be this fucking person that's shape-shifting constantly. Like, they trying to do something to cloak their energy, bitch. It's not working. The illusion is over. All that glitters in reverse. Like, something. Illusion, superficial. Something is over here. Somebody here keep on trying to hide and show up as different masculines. It's like, boy, if you don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm trying to figure this King of Swords out. Who is this? What's the King of Swords? This is like a lot of people coming out. I, these are all different masculines. This would be like a man here that has a lot of friends or they're in some sort of group. This could be like a community, a community of people that's sad. This could be like a family like I was getting before in the beginning. Or like these are like men that this masculine hangs out with. There was something that's hidden here about a particular person and it's coming out. It's really coming out here. Three of swords with the king of swords. I feel like spirit is protecting you. Your your archangels, your spirit team is protecting you from somebody that's completely like insane. They're about to lose it. This person is going, they're driving themselves insane because they're so discontent. Four of cups to death card. Archangel Michael here. You know, honestly, I'm getting the energy of, like, death. I ain't gonna lie, like, an actual 3D death, like somebody passing away. These could be people here. Whatever this is, it's like they have to sacrifice in order. They have to sacrifice others. So it's giving something dark, okay, in order to maintain success and stability. And I feel like that shit went left or went wrong, and so now it's like they, in order to try to maintain or stay stable, it's like they have to find a, a sacrifice or something like that. And they can't or something. It's like something is going, somebody's going crazy here. Literally. Somebody got rejected from something. So now everything is ending. Yeah, look at that. The hangman, the ace of pentacles. I told you a sacrifice. Somebody is doing something weird. This could be like a group of men doing this in a community. They work together. I'm pretty sure there's masculine too. I'm getting somebody here sleeping with a couple of these men or it's something, something, something crazy. It's giving cult. They didn't sound like a cult to me. <laughs> like, I don't know. It sounds like a secret society or something. Uh, let's just keep going, child. I can't get stuck here. <laughs> These could be like men that do this, to, uh, like they're women or I, I don't know. It's just something weird. What's all that glitters in reverse? Yeah, the two of cups. Uh, yeah, the, like, yeah, ten of swords. There's some sort of illusion that's broken because you're in love with somebody and the love is what? Genuine, it's real. It's some sort of curse or hex that's been broken because of true love, a true partnership. So somebody could have been hexing and cursing your relationships, your love lives. Could be a group of men or this. It's one particular man, though, that's after you. The King of Wands came out first. But this could be this whole, this man. It's just probably one man doing it or they got other people doing it, whatever. But I feel like something here had you binded, uh, Libra. <clears throat> Someone binded you to them. Okay. They didn't want you to have a home. They didn't want you to feel safe or have security or a family. And so I feel like now they're getting ready to experience what you've been experiencing. Okay. And God is doing it, not you. You're not raising hell and waging war on them. They're getting ready to feel. It's about to be the wrath of God himself, literally. <laughs> okay. They're getting ready to feel that shit. Because now I feel like you found your true love or something. That where you and this person mutually respect each other. Okay. Y'all love each other. You're, you're in a, a divine counterpart soul connection. 
whatever what's the all that glitters in reverse with the illusions and superficial the two of cups yeah the knight of swords gemini energy yeah somebody's trying to attack a relationship that's why all this shit is falling apart this person here thought this was a fake ass connection or something like that it's not somebody here is acting like they're not heartbroken king of swords three of swords this person got to be like four or five different people on a daily basis i know that's tiresome I know it got to be tiresome. Then they got to act like they're in denial about the fact that they're not heartbroken or something like that. They are. This person here tripping. Okay, but the... <clears throat> Knight of Swords here. This talks about two big changes or seizing some sort of opportunity. Okay, this could be like a sudden arrival too of this love here that's that's happening between you and somebody, this union, this partnership. This could be even a friendship. I don't know. It's something that spirit got you in that's got this magic or whatever the fuck this shit is not working. Okay, it's not working. What's the two of cups? Mm. Queen of cups. Yeah, because your heart is full. Your heart is open. It's like you're being loved properly or you're you're loving someone. You're It's both. Okay, you can have cancer in your chart. I feel like this is you being kind, compassionate, caring, and cared for. Pamper, you're happy, you're secure. It's like your heart is full. Somebody's really in love with you or you're really in love with this person. Both, okay, it's mutual. What's the two of cups with the queen of cups? Someone here. Yeah, ace of cups. Your heart is completely full. Ace of cups and the empress. For some of you guys, you're pregnant. Congrats. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what else to say. This could also talk about too, like... um um self-love obviously this is how much love you poured into yourself like you, it's an overflowing amount of love that you have for yourself period can't nothing take you down bring you down the ace of cups with the empress and the the emperor i was given this emperor and the the with the emperor and the strength card this is a very strong masculine this person here works they provide they protect they overcome whatever challenges this person is strong-minded somebody tripping out about them they tripping out about their ass. Page of Wands, it's like they're throwing tantrums. Somebody's having like outbursts. They're being loud or I don't know. Or this could be somebody on this Emperor's end that's being loud. This could be their child's mother or whoever the fuck. But everybody tripping. It just looks like everybody's tripping. Everybody, they fake like, oh, they're so happy or unbothered. I feel like now it's coming out because, and it's all about you. Yeah, the devil. Everybody's dark side is coming out. They shot child, the, sh the, the sun and the devil. It's like their shadow side is being exposed. Yeah, the everything is fine. And the three of pentacles and the judgment. Some of y'all getting ready to birth something new with the empress and the ace of cups. Okay, but this is a lot of emotional fulfillment. Just period. Somebody's being seen, seen as the devil that they are. Dark, negative just obsessed <laughs> this person here could have been blocking fertility to be honest is what i was getting mm. This is Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is definitely new love or it's already here. Yeah, the Eight of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Saturn. Yeah, this person here, they stuck. They just keep on attacking you and your connections. This The Knight of Swords is, is they they always, this is my attack card. They just look mad as hell. Somebody is focused. They're, they're ambitious. They're driven, but it's to attack you though. Yeah, they, they've been attacking your connections. And I feel like this one here is, is not going nowhere. This is not, I feel like you've met your person, just period. So the Eight of Cups in reverse, 303 on the clock, confirmation. Okay, you could be seeing those synchronicities. The Eight of Cups in reverse is definitely like um, somebody here that's faking their happiness. They're stuck, they're stagnant. Someone here that has abandonment wounds, abandonment issues that they have not healed. They're stuck on you. And I feel like they've been trying to come back, but none of it has been working. So they just are deciding to attack all of your connections. And now they ass getting exposed. Now they're about to lose their home. They're not about to feel safe. They're not about to have no family. I don't know. But this is exactly what they wanted for you. And I feel like they're trying to block your fertility too. Like stop you from becoming an actual mother. Somebody is trying to fucking block your motherhood. 
is what it sounds like. Like they, they're true. The Ace of Swords is like they don't want you to co-create and procreate with anybody if it's not them. What's the Knight of Swords with the Eight of Cups in reverse? Somebody's like tripping. They, they really have lost their mind. I was that Queen of Pentacles about to come out in reverse. It came out sideways, but. It's like this person too, they could be married to a queen of pentacles. They could be married to a person already. And it's like, they're still trying to, they're still stuck on you. So it's like when this person not looking or when they focus on something else, because this person could have made this queen of pentacles a mother. They, they come and attack you. I see the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles. Yeah, something is, with these cards upright and this bad energy that I'm feeling, these are shape-shifting energies. They're, they're really supposed to be in a reverse position, but they're not because they're cloaking their energy. You can't really see. And that's why this is getting ready to be seen or exposed. These are This is a fake-ass couple here that pretends like they're so happy and, and so elated to be together. And they're so this and they that. When really they broke as fuck. They lazy as fuck. They don't work hard. They don't have any ambition or drive. They don't have anything. They're a loser. <laughs> I feel like your spirit team is helping um, to block out this masculine. This person is in denial about something. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles? Or this Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles could be you and your person, one or the other. What's the Queen of Pentacles though? And this person here, they coming in with Archangel Michael. I feel like Archangel Michael too is protecting you as well. Like, they it is. It's like your spirit team is not letting this person here get any kind of like insight on something that's happening in your life right now. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Somebody here has lost their mind. Ten of Pentacles. What's Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, yeah. Something about children is very significant. Okay. But I'm also getting... Somebody here is obsessively spying on you, watching you. Okay. Using some sort of divination. They could be using tarot or they could be doing some sort of mirror magic or whatever that these damn dark witches and warlocks use to spy and I feel like on the good witch here. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles is definitely witchy. You could definitely be a healer or you can call yourself a, a white witch. You know, you're a healer. Witch, healer. I, I just feel like they're the same thing. If you have powers to heal, I just feel like they go hand in hand. But whatever. <laughs> okay, I don't feel like hearing nobody in the comments. But um, I feel like you're using your gifts here to stop an attack. Okay, didn't I get that for your last reading or something? I think I did. Because <clears throat> somebody is definitely doing some sort of dark magic on you. What's this page of pentacles in reverse? And I feel like something switched up really fast. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? Because... Somebody here keep on trying to attack you, man. Yeah, Eight of Swords. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Swords? Gemini, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. So somebody is trying to swap destinies here. They want to switch places with you, man. I feel like somebody has something binded, though. It's like they don't want you to pr produce something or they don't want you to do something. They definitely don't want you to get married, um, have stability, security, whatever. Page of Pentacles in reverse is like good news. I mean, bad news in earthly matters too. Somebody is, somebody is into occult knowledge, but they're not really that fucking smart. They can't be. Somebody has like, somebody is trying to stop a spare baby from coming. I'm, I'm dead ass. I'm serious. Some of y'all could already be pregnant. Okay. So, I mean, you, you've kind of like came out of a trap or for some of you it's happening now. I don't know, but I feel like if this... Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles person, these people are together and that's not you and your person. This is them, like I said, trying to swap destinies. They have something that is supposed to be yours. Okay. They had you binded to get all of your good fortune. Mm -hmm. Will of Fortune upright. Your success, your blessings. They were doing dark magic, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Using this shit to spy as well to see how they can do it. To obtain your ten of pentacles, your gifts, your wealth, your abundance. 
to keep you stuck. Eight of Cups in reverse. It's an attack. Yeah, to take from you four of Pentacles and have you burdened and stressed and whatever or whatever the fuck. Yeah, there's justice is here. Five of Swords, justice. Yeah, it's definitely not going down like that. Mm. So. <laughs> what is the trial and error here? I'm hearing, uh, if at first you don't succeed, you can dust it off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. <laughs> Who did you say that, Aaliyah? Yeah, I'm hearing. So something here, like, if you didn't get it the first time, it's coming this time. Or let me see, what's trial and error? Or this this bitch thinking that they're going to get something again. I bet you're not. What's trial and error? <laughs> Yeah, the judgment. Okay, yeah, you're getting a second chance or something. It is. That's true. Judgment, Scorpio, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. This could talk about like an awakening. I feel like your spirit team is proud of you for something. Okay, you're definitely stepping into your purpose. You could be you could be learning something new here, Libra. Okay, with the judgment, it's like you're with trial and error over top of this judgment. I'm getting you're trying something. It's like you're going through a karmic test or there's something, but it's a part of your purpose, whatever you're doing. What's trial and error with the judgment? Okay, yeah. The devil in reverse to 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 brush the devil off. Okay. Like the devil in reverse is like uh taking back your power. Removing any like ego or anything that that's like oppressing you or whatever the fuck i feel like you have defeated some sort of devil energy within you and around you or whatever whatever was connecting you to some sort of toxicity i feel like you worked on forgiveness as well okay it's like what's the judgment here maybe you um okay yeah the, uh, okay the knight of pentacles what's the judgment with the knight of pentacles i feel like something here has been slow to happen yeah you had to have patience for something you could have virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a virgo or a taurus someone could have a taurus saturn so the seven of pentacles is definitely like investments Okay, reviewing something or reassessing something, reassessing, looking into something, questioning something. It's like you're second guessing it or, but it could be something that you're like waiting for. What's this Knight of Pentacles? It's been coming like slow. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Or you've been working on something very slowly or you could be a bit of probably a perfectionist Libra. Like you want something to be a certain way or you're not too sure. Let's see. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Because this could be <clears throat> three of cups. What's this Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups? Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is this bitch here. I feel like this is somebody else with a third party, or this is a third party energy. This person. Oh. I'm getting something else, too. Someone could be a Capricorn Sun. With the Emperor and the, the Strength card and the Page of Wands in reverse, there could be a challenge here that you're facing with your masculine or your, like, yeah, your masculine is facing some sort of challenge. It could be within their finances. Okay. But something here is building. Like, something is working. Because somebody's been attacked. I feel like you know that somebody's been attacked. I'm getting, like, Scorpio's reading. So, confirmation, maybe 313 on the clock. You could be seeing those synchronicities. So, confirmation on some sort of work that you've done it works okay for some of you for some of you guys if you've done some sort of work is working or something 
because somebody is doing dark magic on someone's finances this could be page of wands in reverse could talk about like being fearful or not really having the energy feeling lethargic or tired or you know not really somebody here trying to find their purpose and passion in life because this could be somebody you're with now like you're celebrating with this person y'all reconciled it doesn't have to mean that you've met this person already and you're reconciling again it could just mean that and this could be you reconciling with someone from a past life like somebody you're meant to be with your lover and I feel like somebody here is um, continuously trying to attack your connections and they try to attack this one. This is not one of them connections that's going to fall apart. You attack this connection, bitch. I feel like you're going to fucking, you, Libra, are going to dig in your handy dandy bag of magic tricks and send this shit back. Or that's what you need to do. Or that's what you did. It worked for some of you. The world, the death card. I don't know. But it's like something here. Somebody just constantly is sending attacks to this shit. And something is, some sort of illusion is, is over. It's over with. And I feel like you sent that shit back. I'll be sending that shit back so fucking fast. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> they deserve to get it back. You deserve to be able to defend yourself. Yeah. The moon, the empress, the justice. Seven of wands. Defense. Protecting your territory. You could have secretly called on justice here or something is hidden about your strengths or something is hidden about you. You could be pregnant or <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know, child. Mm -hmm. Or it's, I don't know, this connection is just cloaked. Somebody here think that this is one of them whack ass connections they can keep attack. I feel like spirit is letting them attack the connection too because every time they do it, it's going to go back. The attacks are going back fast. Like, even with you not doing shit. But I feel like you know that somebody's doing it. So, you're just going to start protecting yourself. As you should. What's the... This person here is with a third party. They're working with a third party. Somebody here is stingy. They stingy. They possessive. Controlling. What's the Seven of Pentacles? I don't know how that came out. What's the Seven of Pentacles? I'm getting frustrated. Like, somebody's annoying. What's the Seven of Pentacles? They annoying as fuck. Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, something didn't work. I'm telling you. Somebody disappointed as fuck. Because they know judgment is here. Mm -hmm. The world in reverse. Something definitely didn't work. Somebody waiting on something to work so they can take something or hold on to something that you got. Absolutely the fuck not. Whatever you're celebrating, whoever you're celebrating with, whatever you're celebrating for, this person here comes in every time to steal it. Whatever it is, they just want to steal your celebrations and for you to be binded and stuck and not have shit. That's what this person, his plan is. You defeated this devil energy. The world in reverse is having to cut your losses. Something not fucking working. It's not working. It's like they need to cut their damn loss. Yeah, five of wands, eight of wands, the tower, the two of wands. Somebody is trying to be chaotic, cause chaos to your kids, your, your, if you are pregnant, okay, to your stability, your security. <laughs> like... Somebody here waiting on some sort of chaos here to happen. Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Two of Wands. <laughs> this is like a fight. It's a war here. Somebody here is really trying to wage spiritual warfare on you. This person has lost their fucking mind. Like, I'm for real. This bitch here is just, they're so demonic. What's the devil in reverse? Somebody here wants to keep a cycle open or keep something going. They've invested in trying to keep this cycle open and going with you by doing some sort of magic and shit. Because that's exactly what they're doing. What's this devil in reverse? And bitch, as a wish myself, I know what magic is. I can feel it. I can sense it. I know when somebody's doing some dark magic. <laughs> ten of Wands, Sagittarius, Saturn. Yeah, what's the devil in reverse with the Ten of Wands? What's this devil in reverse ten of wands? Yeah, everything is fine because it is. You guys will be saying ten ten. <laughs> yeah, somebody trying to win something at all costs or get this gift. It's like a gift or something for their stability. It's something about their stability, their security. They feel like they can. They, they're trying to compete with you just in life in general. Like, I don't want you to have better than me. So I'm going to tear you down and keep you at my level. Or I just don't want you to have anything. 
Like dead ass. And while they sit up here and play the victim or whatever. This person here crazy as fuck. To even think of some shit like this is psychotic. I feel like too, with the seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the three of cups and the four of pentacles, this could be your money building and, and growing. This could be your masculines, okay? Because something is not working against this masculine or this could be you, flip the damn rolls. But something is definitely not working because um, something is moving slow or has been moving slow. But I feel like it's been moving slower because of whatever this attack is. It's not working no more. Ten of Wands is like releasing, letting go. This is like burden, responsibilities, heavy, like like dead weight. So I feel like you have released some sort of dead weight. It's something here that was on you or whatever the fuck. It's, it's, it's like some sort of maybe hex or curse or something like that. Or somebody has been putting all they fucking, with all these swords, it's like they've been putting all they stress and shit like that onto you for you to carry while they obtain your good ass karma. It's like, absolutely not. The devil in reverse is over. Yeah, the death card. Five of Pentacles. Somebody here is getting, getting ready to reap exactly what they sown. And whatever you're waiting for to grow, it's growing. It's going to grow. Just be patient. Just have patience. Take your time. Okay, it's growing how it's supposed to. Okay, but I, I know, you know, you don't need no attack to make it worse. You know what I'm saying? If you are going through something financially or your person, it's like you don't need somebody to attack it. And I feel like the only reason, honestly, why your divine masculine is probably going through it, because I feel like it's a man, is because there's some sort of hex or curse associated with you. Like this, this other masculine here, this karmic masculine of yours, this damn warlock, dark witch, whatever, they're trying to attack any relationship you have. So they, they have it set up. It's like they've invested over time into doing this shit to you, for sure. So whenever you meet somebody new, they automatically get attacked. Okay, like if you start seeing shit fall apart, like all of a sudden, like you meet them, they fine. Y'all have a good time, whatever the fuck. And then a month down the line, it's like, well, now they they losing money or things ain't the same in a relationship. They're not taking you out no more because they ain't got no more fucking money. And like somebody here does that shit on purpose. They do that shit every time you meet somebody. And now they're doing it to an actual divine masculine that's supposed to have wealth and prosperity with you. Yeah, that's not going to happen, bitch. The shit is going back instantly, ASAP. Two divine beings that are supposed to be together, bitch that is actually in love with each other and for some of you you could be pregnant too or you something you getting ready to be it's like no <laughs> absolutely not i feel like you could be getting some sort of spiritual upgrade as well like I, I you know somebody here tripping like big time what's the rebirth in reverse ace of wands what's the rebirth in reverse with the ace of wands the magician mm. yeah you're manifesting something that's not working out for them they're not getting no rebirth ain't no restore recovery because your manifestations are coming in if you're manifesting any kind of fertility abundance when it comes down to a baby or a family or getting married i mean that's here okay this is definitely peace happiness joy contentment um harmony definitely a faded connection that's coming through this could be you finding complete joy and fulfillment in something that you do. For some of you, it is magic. Like you, with the magician and the ace of wands, some of y'all are really good with like candle magic or something. Okay, your psychic abilities too are increasing, enhancing. I feel like you have a lot of mental clarity. This could be you getting ready to start a new project or something like that relating to being a practitioner for some of you. Or you work with herbs here. But this could be you manifesting. There's something you're manifesting here. Confirmation confirmation what's the ace of wands somebody is trying to fucking attack you constantly yeah the, the king of cups yeah king of cups queen of cups ace of cups and the two of cups <clears throat> yep what's the ace of wands king of cups yeah you and this person y'all getting it in okay or the power the power that you and this person have is just like incredible three two three on the clock you guys could be saying you see how my head just turned out of synchronicity it's just like the angels the spirit guys are just like so 
they're everywhere. <laughs> like, I'm, I swear, I be getting haunted by angel numbers constantly. But, yeah, the Empress, the Six of Cups, the Moon, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, But, yeah, this person here, the Ace of Wands with the King of Cups, and you got the Ace of Cups over here. You are definitely healing to this masculine. Like, this person, you and this person are very much so healers. You're psychic as fuck. Okay? Very intelligent people. All right. Y'all could be into the same things. Somebody could like to write, sing, okay, or something. So, both of y'all could really enjoy, like, nature. Okay? Like, I don't know. Something really nice about this connection. It's very calm. It's peaceful. Like, you and this person have good communication skills. It's because you're really emotionally mature. You're comfortable in your own skin. Like, you're not insecure. You're emotionally stable. Like, so nice. <laughs> okay, just period. What's uh, the Ace of Wands with the King of Cups? Could be a Scorpio. This person is very transformative, transformative themselves. They could be working on a new project or somebody here feels fired up. Like, they feel like they're ready to go get some shit done or... Whatever the fuck. What's uh the ace of wands with the king of cups? Yeah, the star. Wish fulfillment. Happiness. Staying positive. Okay. Excuse me. My throat itch. You could be <clears throat> dealing with an Aquarius. So the star, yeah, the star talks about going towards your north node. Somebody here could be inventing something. The star is like originality, a trendsetter here. Someone could be seen in the public eye. But someone is healing, or they're very healing. The star with the king of cups and the ace of wands. What's the, what's the magician? Someone is very positive and optimistic. It feels nice. And for some of you, I see a stork right there. So there could be a message coming or a baby. I'm telling you, look at the chariot, the, the ten of cups, and the empress. I, I I swear, like I can't make the shit up if I try. It just keeps showing up. Like something about starting a family. Okay, some of y'all are definitely yeah. I mean, okay. <laughs> What's this magician? <laughs> the death card in reverse. What's the magician with the death card in reverse? The five of swords, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Aquarius, Venus. So I feel like you have complete control and mental clarity about somebody that just don't, doesn't want to change their ways and don't want to release you here. They're, trying, they're still trying to win at all costs. Okay, but the Five of Swords could talk about too. Yeah, with the death card in reverse and the five of swords, I feel like it's like, bitch, two can play that game. Two can play that game, bitch. You're going to see who's going to win at the end of this war. <laughs> I feel like that's the kind of energy you're in. You're not being tit for tat or fighting back in a in a nasty, malicious way, but it's like you're defending yourself. You have a right to defend yourself. Are you going to let somebody punk you or fucking keep you stuck and by doing this cowardly-ass, pussy-ass shit behind your back? Absolutely not. Especially for those of you that are into, like magic or something i'll be doing that shit like yeah send this shit back return to sender <laughs> or block it out or whatever banish it do whatever you have to do but i feel like something is not over for you with the death card in reverse something is definitely not ending it's not over it's not lost whatever with the five of swords this is like standing up for yourself like i said against a bully or somebody here trying to intimidate somebody or attack them or whatever And this too, the Five of Swords could talk about um, a victory. Two. What's the what's the death card in reverse? Let me see something. Truth. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Brainstorming. What's the death card in reverse? With the Ace of Swords. An aha moment or focus. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I feel like there's some sort of like mental clarity here. 
Okay, the High Priestess with the Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. I feel like you have more mental clarity and focus. Seven of Wands in reverse. It's like somebody burnt the fuck out. They burnt out. Or somebody trying to burn someone out that's around you and stop them from elevating. Someone that refuses to compromise or... I feel like somebody is losing, like, respect. They ain't got no fucking respect for themselves or nobody else. No morals, no nothing. Someone here is, like, folding on their beliefs or something. Or someone here doesn't have the confidence to stand up for themselves. There's, like, a breakthrough happening with that. Because it's like, no, you can't keep letting somebody attack you. What's the seven of wands right here with this... Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's, it's like, exactly. It's like, it's time for you to fucking stop whatever this is from attacking you constantly. It's it's like, no. What's the Five of Swords? The Ten of Swords is definitely that attack. What's the Five of Swords? Yeah, the Queen of Swords is like, yeah, bitch, it stops here. Stop playing with me. Is this Queen of Swords? I feel like that's your ass. What's Queen of Swords? Five of Swords. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, you know it's some sort of illusion. You're very discerning. You're a confirmation. You know it's some sort of illusion. You're very discerning. You're awakening. You can see the shit for what it is. You know that somebody's trying to sacrifice you and all of that. <clears throat> Somebody here is trying to make you, it's like, it's like somebody is trying to make you and this person feel disinterested in each other. Like they're trying to blow out the spark between you and your person. <laughs> it's like, bitch, you are absolutely delusional. <laughs> absolutely insane. I don't know why I feel like using the other day. Mm. What is that they keep banging on the wall? Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Any little noise just gets on my nerves. You know, guys, I really learned to just love peace and quiet. I love when everything is so quiet. It's like so peaceful. <laughs> like really peaceful. I can hear source. I can just, like, it just feels so calm. The dysfunction and the noisy shit is a no. Talking too much is a no. The only time I really, 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 really talk is on my channel. <laughs> Dead ass. You know. For what's this nine of cups in reverse? Rebound, flighty, temporary, option, unpredictable intentions. Yeah, somebody's intentions is predictable. So this person here thought that they was getting ready to make you a rebound. Or uh, maybe the person that they with. Because, you know, it feels like this person is with somebody. They're a rebound. That's what's coming out. That's why they're losing their family. <clears throat> because you're not finna be no rebound. So the more that you move forward... The more this person's intentions for the bitch that they with gets exposed, man or woman, <clears throat> like you're not finna be no rebound. What the fuck is this in my juice? It looks like a piece of, no, oh, like maybe a piece of something flew in it. But yeah, yeah, penny pinching, <laughs> like yeah. I feel like the person that they with is telling their ass to get the fuck out. <laughs> like, get out, bitch. Okay, they got kids. The only time you can come around is, is when you with the kids or whatever. Three, three, three on the clock. What else? Or somebody here, somebody here was banking on you being a rebound and any other connections that you were with. Like, somebody here, as long as you were okay with being a third party, which is probably something you had to heal from in the past. <clears throat> 
then they could continue to attack you because that's something that you needed to work on internally. It's an insecurity. Because why do you want to be a third party? Or why settle? What else? Yeah, who this? Unknown caller, block numbers, fake numbers. Cuffing season. <laughs> yeah, somebody can't get through to you. Single and ready to mingle. Single for a relationship on the hunt. Yeah, it's like... Bitches cuffing season. I feel like somebody here is just on the prowl. I feel like when this person here can't use people or make them feel like, you know what I'm saying, like shit, and they they be okay with it and they try to leave, I feel like this person just attacks them when they leave and then they go find somebody else that's weak as fuck like them to feed off of. It's like a narcissist. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? What's cuffing season? Repo. Exactly. <laughs> this person, they could be in a relationship. And <laughs> they should get told. This could be you and your person. Default on payments. Financially incapable. Repossess assets. What's this cuffing season with repo? Either this somebody that they with. Yeah, brick wall in reverse. Guarded, hard to reach, defense mechanism. <clears throat> so it could be because, like I said, you're in a relationship. Something here is unblocked with brick wall in reverse. Something is unblocked for you. So now they losing shit. Somebody getting their shit repoed. And, and they losing a lot of shit. Homes, like I said, default on payments. They're not capable of paying their bills on time or whatever. It's like child... Somebody here, too, was trying to make it seem like you were easy or you were a hoe or whatever. Like, you would just let anybody come through with brick wall in reverse. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Somebody crazy. What else? Giving heart. Showing love. Caring action. Selfless gestures. What else? Chain. Yeah. Codependency. Unhealthy attachment. Way down. And side hustle. Yeah, this how this, I swear. I just said that. Side hustle, extra income, self-employed, multiple jobs. I feel like somebody's side hustle is to prey on codependent people. Like somebody preys on someone's weaknesses, literally. Okay. They they make a lot of unhealthy attachments here to use them. It's like this person just uses people for their own selfish gain while they're still chasing after you. I feel like this person is chasing after you and a couple more of their exes. <laughs> Cause they crazy as fuck. When they when they can't get the supply or the energy supply, they go and attack. This is a nasty bitch. <laughs> they feed off people's emotional pain. Like this is nasty. What's the what's a side hustle here for some of you? Snack, sex appeal, physical attraction, and irresistible desire. Oh, what side hustle is snack? Bullshitting. Yeah, somebody. Child, deception, fake it to make it, dishonesty. Receipts, evidence, guilty as charged, exposed, and flexing. Yeah, somebody's a fucking flexor. Like, something is this, this person here, they being exposed. That shit funny. Mm -hmm. I feel like they manifest off your energy. You can have a lot of sex appeal. You can be phys physically attractive and everything. And I feel like their side hustle is feeding off your energy. And that's why the shit is over. Because they can't do it no more. So guess what? They're losing homes, cars, all kind of shit. Because they fucking magic is backfiring. There is no using your energy to manifest off of. It's over. <laughs> It's over. This person is codependent as fuck on your energy. And I feel like that little bitch over there is finding out too. Let's change. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about what they do. They say unremorseful, avoiding accountability, accountability, neglecting responsibility, and heart to heart. Deep conversations, intimate discussions, blunt and honest.
What's this heart to heart? Or bounce back. Yeah, perseverance, overcoming obstacles, making a comeback. Yeah, so this could be you having a heart to heart with your, your person. Okay. Like you and this person, like you feel comfortable with this person. You see how she's just so comfortably laying on him? Like, that's your person. That's your person. What's giving heart? Switch up and reverse. Reintroduction, acting brand new, new persona. Yeah, somebody here, how you met this person, they're the same person. Somebody's not switching up on you or anything like that. They real. No filter. Authentic, it is what it is. Sugar-free and blunt. Like, whoever you're giving your heart to now, ain't no switching up. Ain't no acting brand new. Ain't no treating you like shit or anything like that. And this person here, they just don't give a fuck. This person is crazy. Yeah, look. They say, babe. Prioritizing partner before anyone else. Deepening love and knocked up. Pregnancy, baby on the way expecting. For some of you guys, this year you got a baby in the oven. Congrats. I feel like you about to be sexy as fuck pregnant. Okay. <laughs> or if you're a man, congrats. You know, your wife or your girl or whatever the fuck. She's going to be hot, dude. <laughs> totally hot yeah what else so we got spilling the beans revealing secrets cats out of the bag untrustworthy yeah tiptoeing acting shady sneaking around avoiding getting caught and setback Facing a loss, off track delays. Yeah, this person here, they trying to hide the fact that they are fucking, they're experiencing setbacks and delays. Bitch, we know, we know that you that you're experiencing a, a fall from grace and a problem. Ain't no running. Yeah, quick getaway, the runner escaping. It's like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like I'm serious. They trying to hide the fact that they've been causing setbacks and delays and all that. It's like bitch, we know it's you. I feel like y'all know exactly who this is. For a lot of you, it's your ex, your raggedy ass ex that's been trying to cock block they've been manifesting that shit too like i said this is my this is kind of like my spell work card somebody here is manifesting that they can cock block mm -hmm. what else <laughs> we got my boo period official status exclusive relationship power couple seeing each other openly tea time gossiping spreading rumors drama and then yeah and then we have fuego chemistry intense passion <clears throat> things are heating up here for some of you there's there's another connection or relationship that's not going nowhere like you you don't want to be with them i feel like they there could be like three masculines the person that you're with now that's your actually your your person then you got another person that you dated at some point you're definitely not giving that a chance there is no recovery from that and then you got this bitch over here, this shape-shifting hoe that wants to be with you still. That's mad that they, they mad that anybody else is with you. Shit, they probably successfully broke up one of these connections in the past. It's definitely not this new one. So it had to be the one in the middle that I'm pulling in a different energy. It's like, yeah, that's over. Because I'm seeing the Three of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could have been using a third party. Or they, they, they tried to be a third party in... A, a connection that you had in the past at some point and that that failed because i wasn't your person <clears throat> so it was fuego key player important person playing an essential role irreplaceable what's fuego <laughs> the key player yeah sneaky link somebody here child hidden lover low-key situationship side piece like that's what i'm saying you're the key player here you're the one with all the power you're the one that has everything that these bitches want and they can't get. Just period. I feel like people here are trying to steal your energy. They're trying to just siphon your energy. That's it. Who oh, these people drain my fucking energy? What's tea time? They're trying to make you a sneaky link. But then going to get mad at you when you say no. Somebody here, yeah, stalker vibes. <laughs> Obsessive interest, fatal attraction, consumed, and vibes. <laughs> Sensing something, unexplainable feeling, listening to intuition, yeah, that something is off. It's like you know that somebody is stalking you, watching you, and they're doing spell work. And I feel like you should send that shit right on back. 
Two day stupid ass. I will be sending it back. Fuck that. <laughs> You're not finna keep attacking me, bitch. And I feel like this relationship gonna get you fired up too. You're gonna get mad enough to where it's like, you're like, okay, cool. Bet. <laughs> Bets, bitch. Bet. So this was your reading. I hope that it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button. So you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.